Happy New Year. I have to admit to you, I don't think I've ever wanted to see a year leave as much as 2020. And yet, on this first day of 2021, we might feel not much has changed. But today's feast of the solemnity of Mary, the mother of God, the Theotokos, the God-bearer, announces again to you and me what we have been celebrating in the Christmas season, that God is with us. The God who comes to share words of hope, words of encouragement, words of forgiveness and peace, words of love. In the letter to the Hebrews we read, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that is the message we hold on to. That the same love found in Bethlehem can be found in our hearts and homes this, in this new year. So sisters and brothers, I invite us to enter into 2021 with great hope. Hope of all that the Lord wants to do for us. Hope that his word brings to us. And yet Jesus is also inviting us, come to me. In this new year, let us make a greater effort to come to the Lord in the sacraments, to make sure that Sunday Mass is part of our regular weekly routines, to make sure that prayer is part of our home life and our daily lives, to take part in the sacrament of penance, where we can find both healing and strength as we face the challenges of life. And so as I wish you a happy new year, I also know where that happiness will come from. If we connect even more with our God, if we make Jesus part, a constant companion on our journey. So sisters and brothers, welcome to 2021. And as we welcome this new year together, we do pray that it will be a year of healing a year of renewed strength for the human family. But let us remember where our strength lies, in the God in whom we trust. Let us make sure that for the next 365 days, that God has a place every day in our lives. Thank you. God bless you and your in this coming year of 2021. May you and your families know its blessedness.